Purdy Peacock, The Rainstorm. It was a beautiful spring day, and Purdy was enjoying walking around on his farm. The grass was a pretty green color, and his trees and bushes were beginning to bud and show their leaves. Spring is a season of new growth and new beginnings on Purdy's farm. It was also the season of change, and change was beginning. Purdy noticed that the clouds in the bright blue sky were getting big and puffy. He also noticed that the big yellow sun was being blocked by the puffy clouds. The sky was becoming gray, and the clouds were getting darker and darker. Purdy watched the clouds with interest and marveled at the curious shapes of the big and puffy clouds. He could hear thunder in the distance and could see the white stripes of the lightning. The storm seemed to be getting closer and closer, and Purdy could tell that it was going to rain soon. The clouds were as black as could be, and Purdy knew a big storm was coming. He also expected a lot of rain, wind, thunder, and lightning. Purdy and his family and friends decided it was time to take shelter in his big golden barn. They did just that. Shortly thereafter, Purdy heard a loud knock on the door. There he found a man with a big backpack, and the man asked if he could take cover in one of his buildings. The storm was beginning, and Purdy said, Yes, of course. Purdy watched as a man entered the building. It started to rain, and rain it did. It just poured, and the sky was so dark Purdy could not see a thing. The wind blew, and there was thunder and lightning. It was not a terrible storm, but the rain came down very hard. When the storm ended, Purdy thought that he should go check on the man in the building. Purdy entered the building, but it was empty. He went back to the barn to tell his family and friends. Since Purdy was the only one who had seen the man with the backpack, his family and friends asked, Are you sure there was a man? And are you sure he took shelter in that building? Purdy began to wonder about that himself. Did he imagine the man? He was sure he did not. Where did the man go? And why weren't there any footprints? Purdy was confused. Purdy decided that he should go check the building again, but this time he was going to take his family and friends with him. They went to the building. They saw nothing. They went outside to look for any signs of footprints or any evidence that someone had left the building. They found nothing. Purdy was very confused and was wandering around and looking everywhere he could imagine in that building. Was there a man? Purdy was sure there was, but he was doubting himself more and more each minute that passed. His family and friends kept saying to him, Are you sure there was a man? None of us saw him. You were the only one who saw him. We did hear a knock at the door, but we did not see anyone. If there was a man, why don't we see any evidence that a man was in the building? Purdy was confused. His family and friends were confused, and they were all wandering around in the building and outside of the building, looking for anything that would indicate that there was a man around the farm. The ground and grass was very wet from the heavy rain, and surely if a man had left the building, there would be footprints in the wet grass. But there was nothing. They all took a break from looking for the man and sat down and started discussing what could have happened. Maybe there was no man, but they really did not believe that. They had all heard a knock at the door, but Purdy was the one that answered the door. Purdy was the one that had told them it was a man with a backpack at the door that wanted to seek shelter in one of the buildings. Purdy was the one that watched the man enter the building. And it was raining when the man entered the building, and it was raining hard, so Purdy was sure that the man was in the building. After all, nobody would want to be outdoors in rain like that, and that is why the man asked for shelter in the first place. After their break, they all decided that they would take one more look in the building. Maybe there was something that they had missed. They took a quick walk through the building. Again, they saw nothing. They checked outside of the building for footprints again. Once again, there were no footprints. They just could not believe that there was no evidence that a man had been in that building. How confusing it was to them all. They all decided to give up and just forget about the whole thing. As they were walking out of the door, one of them noticed something unusual. There were two cans sitting on a ledge. He yelled, Hey, Purdy, come here! They looked at the two cans on the ledge. Purdy remembered that there had been two unopened cans of cat food in that building. When they looked at the cans on the ledge, they had been opened and the cans were empty, and they were opened with an old-fashioned can opener that is usually used to open pop bottles. Purdy did not have a can opener like that. Evidently, the man with the backpack had taken his can opener and had opened up the cat food cans. But what happened to the cat food that was in the cans? Was the man so hungry that he ate it? Or could he have opened the cans and fed the cats that were in the building? Purdy and his family would never know for sure. But what they did know was that there was a man in the building. The mystery was solved. They still have no idea of when the man left or where the man went after that, and they would never know. They were glad that Purdy had let the man take shelter from the storm in the building, and they were all glad that they had helped someone in need. 
Purdy was relieved and could once again take a nap on his beautiful farm, and he was dreaming about the man with the backpack.